got this, uh, but the microphone is right here in order for the um, computer. This is very exciting this morning. Oh, <laughs> you're already live. She gives me no warning, y'all. I haven't even put my lips on yet. Where are your lips? They're right here. You got some collagen? Got Shida? some Oh, lipstick. lipstick. Yes. I thought she had some sort of like, looks <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm going to have to hold your phone because you're going to make the heater with us. So I'm here with Pyro Granny this morning. <laughs> it's very exciting. We, um, I'm even in my pajamas and robe. I could not find my coonskin cap, which seemed really important. But Pyro Granny is Andale Homestead. She's in my small town. Yes. And she reached out to me like, I don't know. It's been a couple months. Yeah. October. Just a couple of months. It was like, I'm, I, you know, can we talk about like I'm starting the social media thing? I was like, yeah, that's great. You always want to support people doing, you know, you're in the same business. Yeah, we're buddies. And then we had fun. Yeah. I was like, we should get together and do this more often. So we've been getting together on Mondays on my subscriber page, her YouTube page, and we meet at the coffee shop and we chit chat and, yes. you know, carry on. Well, Pyro Granny tells me this Monday, well, I have this reel. <laughs> and it has Hi, gone everybody. It has gone viral on Facebook or on, on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yes. And I said, uh-oh, shoot. shoot. Uh -oh. Okay. I said, what do you mean it's gone viral? She goes, I don't know. I think I've got maybe 28,000 followers. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's up to 40, y'all. I'm so excited, Instagram. Thank you so much for supporting me. This is my buddy, Adrian. Well, I don't know where all you fools are when I'm on Instagram. But, I mean, <laughs> I get like two followers a week. I mean, here, my protege is just peeing all through the roof. I'm, I'm just a little peon over here, but... This is Adrienne from Tales of an Educated Debutante. She does have an Instagram. She has Facebook. And I'm going to talk her into coming on YouTube. I don't know. Now she's helping me. Just, <laughs> no, it's just, just done for me. <laughs> it's over. True. That's not true. That's not we true. want you to be ready. Yes. That's what she says. And I think people like that. Yes, well, I do want them to be ready. I mean... What are they getting ready for? They're getting ready to be able... Uh, dog is coughing the up dog just, I'm sorry. The dog just threw up on my foot. No, it did not. <laughs> Poor Brown. Why is she called Pyro Granny? Look, he's 14 years old. I'm called Pyro Granny because <laughs> um, this was a joke on Instagram that people... Well, I started a fire in my home of things that you may have in your home, around your home. If you're cold, an ice storm happens, that snowstorm that went up north. Now, let's just stop for a minute. I like that you can make fire have two syllables. Fire. Fire. <laughs> fire. Okay, I do ahead. have uh -huh. two syllables. So, in case there's a snowstorm. Or an ice storm. Or something, you know, you wake up, like Kate from um, Finding Cooper's Voice, woke up and she had like 18 a, inches a of, snow. of snow or maybe you live in ukraine that's true maybe you live in in ukraine and you just have a can and another can and some things some things that you can find around your home or if you're homeless you can do that i had so many people asking me here on instagram how to make this heater so this is what we're going to do we're going to make the heater so adrian People ask me, how much dirt do you put in your uh, first can? So I want you to, what we do is we measure the cans. You can see them. You measure the cans. You got about that much dirt on the bottom. So that's how much we're going to put in the big can. This much dirt? No. How much? Just about that much. Oh, I didn't miss that part. So <laughs> she's got tomato case, paste, and she's got... I'm calling like, this the mushroom soup can. Okay, mushroom soup is good. So Green she's beans, put corn. A teeny little bit of, like an inch of dirt. Yeah, like an inch of dirt. Now this is, and this is safe to do in the house. Yes, it is safe. Alcohol people are. Christy going, says you need to be on TikTok. Oh yeah. Py and you should be called Pyro Granny on TikTok. <laughs> Oh so. my, yes, I'm going to be your property manager. Okay. I mean, you will kill it. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so we All got right, dirt. So, I didn't put dirt in this one. No, you don't put dirt in yeah. that one. And so what we're doing, people are saying, Angela how says, much what if dirt? you have fertilizer in the dirt? Well, you get plain dirt, honey. You have fertilizer in it. I see white dots. Well, it doesn't matter because the dirt's not going to do anything. What the dirt does is insulate this outside can so that if you touch it, you don't take the skin off of your body. Really? Dirt does that? Dirt is an insulator. There's a lot of people that use sand as well. I just didn't have any sand. Not everybody has sand. So, okay. So, you got that. Uh -huh. Put your little can in on top. My little tiny can. And oh, you don't a... have enough. You need to have your can okay. up even. <laughs> you got to put more can. Y'all, really, go check out Adrian from Tales of an Educated Debutante. She Tales hilarious. of an Educated Debutante doesn't know how to do anything. Well, see, that's what we're training her. We're teaching her how to be self-sustainable, to be able to look after herself. You know what she's going to do? She's going to move in with Pyro Granny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if something happens. If something happens, I'm going to be like, I'm going out there. You're going to put your skis on, right? Yeah. Wear your ski outfit I'll walk. and come walk out here I'll to canoe. Pyro Granny. I'll canoe. Okay. okay. That's good. Okay. Now, we're going to put, I put paper in the paper. little can. Because what you do, you don't want dirt inside this little can. Just put dirt in it right there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You don't want dirt inside the little can. So you, I put a piece of paper around it. Now, get some more dirt and Wait, fill around Wait, where did you put the paper? Edge. You mean in here? Yeah. It's but just, why would the dirt get in there? Because you're getting ready to fill oh, it around the edges. Oh, okay. Okay. So, because, so I'm going to hold this here, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take the dirt. Oh, this is, it's going to make a big mess. It's okay. That's what the pan is for. Oh. Yeah. She's going to put the dirt in the can. Pyro debutante would do this outside. <laughs> well, it's cold outside. It would have been warm at 1230 or 1. I brought my mink coat. <laughs> Couldn't find my coonskin cap. Okay. So we're putting the dirt yep. around. The putting the dirt around the, the can. can. Not That's right. I'm very successful. Well, so. I mean, you you can because grab the it dirt, with your hands. I was trying to be the proper. dirt is an insulator. The dirt insulates the can on the inside. Uh huh. And that way, if you touch this can, it doesn't burn the skin off your hands. And so many people are saying that it's a hazard and carbon monoxide and all that stuff. But alcohol, this is the kind of alcohol we use to be able to start this fire. And it's isopropyl alcohol, so it it burns clean. It It's clean no more alcohol. than having like a gas stove in your house or anything, any other kind of gas right heater, anything like that. Okay, good. She's got it all in there. Now we're going to take the paper out. And there's very little... If you can see, you see the insulation around it. <laughs> she came in her pajamas, y'all. I love it that she came in her pajamas. I can't tell you. I so went we like have this to the coffee shop, there. too. Oh, there you was did? a great big meeting in there. Oh, School my officials. gracious. All right, so we've got the dirt. Now, we're going to put cotton balls. You fill the little can with cotton balls. <laughs> now this is a woman that says she doesn't have cotton balls in her house because they seem useless. I don't keep cotton useless. balls. Well, you need to buy some. But well, I know you've told me. I mean, I could. If you could, don't like, save the planet with cotton balls, that's right. I'd have like three bags. <laughs> <laughs> she got ten more under the bed. Okay, she won't let good. me show you. Okay. No, you may not have a house tour today. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> You got Barbies in here. What I else? do. I have toys and Barbies. And What's that? Oh, you got snowballs. Well, those are snowballs. We had a snowball fight. You could use those as cotton balls, too. Mm, and burn you up your snowballs. Might okay. could. You might could. I use a dryer lint. You can use dryer lint. You can also use oh, uh, toilet paper. You can, But toilet paper gets so gobby. But you could use paper towels if you needed to. Cotton balls are just a little more forgiving. Mm. All right. So now we're getting ready to pour the alcohol on here. And you just dabble it. You just give it a little bloop. Can y'all see? I want y'all to see. Yeah, you didn't do all this in your Pyro Granny video. This is like the behind the scenes Pyro Granny. That's right. Well, I mean, I now, did do I put show any them. more? No, I think that's fine. All right. Where's the top? We need the top because we can't have any of that stuff around. We need the paper. We don't want to light the paper on the No. 
Fire and, uh, or the dog. Uh, all these comments from the original video, y'all, they were saying that I was going to kill people and burn people down and all that stuff. And it's not like that. <laughs> but you do have to have some common sense. You can't walk away from a fire or a candle or anything in your home. You do have to be careful about that. And so, anyway. Okay, so you can light it now. Let's take that away. Okay, I'm lighting these cotton balls. Now, it's cold here. It's cold here on the prairie. Yes, We're channeling cold. our inner Kate Swenson of Finding Cooper's Voice in the snowstorm, and there's no heat. It's dark, and you need... I know, that's very hard. I have to use two hands. There we go. Now, we have our heater. Now, I'm not feeling warm. Well, it warms right up, y'all. Warms right up. But like, I can tell you another trick to be able to help channel this heat. Okay, good. I need a channeler. You need a channeler. But honestly, it puts out a lot of heat. We're going to move that dirt over. I'm sure that's a bad noise for everybody. Where's the pot? It's on the floor. Oh. So, we have uh, some bricks that we have covered in aluminum foil. These and are aluminum foil bricks. And aluminum foil, as long as Reynolds wrap is in business, I'm not thinking I'm going to, like, explode. Can you make your own Reynolds wrap? No, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, I figure there's got to be a way. What is Reynolds wrap? I, I don't know. Melted aluminum. So we're Pyro going Granny to... would like a sponsor of Reynolds wrap. Yes, I would. Thank you know, you. I don't ever get... I get sponsors, like, if I talk about Twinkies, they mail me a bunch. Oh, really? I'm, I keep waiting for some Tide or something. Well, I've gotten some... Blueberry muffins. i got garden boots and garden tools, and I'm getting ready to get a garden waterer and saws. And some Reynolds wrap. Oh, that would be wonderful. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to put the, the brick... Yep, put the brick, like, next to the can. Uh, next okay. to the can. We're giving this some... Um, area of oxygen to be able to have the oxygen up. I mean, you don't want this to fall down. Well, okay. here. here. There we go. Well, that's your, much your more pot. steady. Oh, okay. That's steady. Okay. I, I like steady. Much more steady. Okay. There we go. Uh -huh. Steady. Every, I want everybody to be able to see because I got another phone over here that I want everybody to be able to see it. And I'm probably giving them a headache by shaking them around so much. Let's pull you back a little bit. And again, Adrian Wood, Tales of an Educated Debbie Talk. Go over and say hi and tell them that you came from Andale Homestead. Mm -hmm. Now, you put the pot. This is a clay pot. People have warned me saying you can't. <laughs> you made a tin man. Um, people have warned me saying that you can't have any kind of... Um, Oh, gosh, my microphone's not on. You can't have any kind of um, moisture in the pot because it will cause it to crack. There's no no moisture in the pot. It's all pot. dried. It's all dried off. Okay. Now we're going to put that over it. There we go. Now. And now. Are we getting warm? As it burns. See, the flame is still in there. Oh, and hot. then, yeah, it's hot. And this will heat up and radiate out in your room. Takes it a minute. Like a fireplace. Like a fireplace. Now, but what about what we put on the top? Well, um, we only put that on there. It's, it, you only need it like halfway. I put it the whole way the last time and that was, that was a mistake. But Why? I don't have a coin. What happened? Why was well, it a mistake? Well, what happens is. You're supposed is, to put a quarter on the top. You're supposed to put a quarter well, on gotta, the top. You got to have a quarter in here. I don't have a quarter, but I can go get one. Here, I'll just pretend. This is my quarter. Okay, just put it halfway over. What happens if you put it all if the way? If you put it the whole way over, then it does shuff, um, snuff out the oxygen and stops the fire. Oh. So we don't want that. Mm -mm. <laughs> so there. All those people, those power granny people have all built fires and snuffed them out with their quarter. <laughs> I, no, no, I hope not. But, I mean, you have to experiment a little bit. <gasps> the pot is so hot. Yeah. See? Now, people are saying, you know, people call yes. you auntie. Yeah, they do call me auntie. Why? Auntie of the internet. Just be, I guess it's my voice and storytelling. I do tell stories and things like that. They just auntie like to call me of auntie. the internet. 
I don't know why we're pyro anti of the internet. Mm-hmm. Yes. So yes. so you're telling me, have you ever done this? I with no ha- electricity? I have not had to do that. But I have practiced. She also has a wood stove in her kitchen, though. So I have a wood stove. She's a little better off than most of us. We ones. also have a generator. Careful. Oh, well, we just put it out. Why? I don't know. Probably air from breathing it. Oh, oh. But let's just leave the pot off. Oh, all right. It's still, it's hot. I know. Don't burn yourself up. Um... And this is a good thing just to cook marshmallows with the children. I was going to get some s'mores and have us make s'mores this morning. I have all the stuff to make them with. Well, where are they? You want them? I might have a teensy s'more. Oh, I don't have teensy s'mores. But I will definitely, because my um, marshmallows are like 5,000. They're huge. Well, go let me see them. Okay. All right. You talk to the people. Let's follow her in the kitchen. <laughs> She's worried I'm going to come in here and start trying to open cabinets or open her cabinets. Um, no, it, I'm serious. So it is so fun to have somebody in your own. We live in a town of like, I don't know how many people live where we do. 5,000. We ain't got a Target. No Ruth's Chris. No Outback Steakhouse. No TJ Maxx. We got McDonald's, which is good. Taco Hell. Pizza Hut. And the roses. But we have Byram's Hardware and Edenton Coffee House and North Number Four. Like we have all these pretty neat Blunt's Drug Store. I mean, we have pretty neat the Hair and Bone, the Edenton Oyster Bar, but it's small. So it's fun to have a friend that does this. So anyway, in the beat. Okay. I didn't, know you, we... I didn't know you could run. Well, <laughs> I can barely run. Now, if your fire goes out, you have to make sure... Somebody asked me... On, we don't have chicken kitchen anymore. It closed up. Oh, dang. I know. I miss it. Mm, those grits were to die for. They were really good. So, I don't miss not being able to order pancakes in the drive through Oh, you don't miss that? No, you weren't allowed to. Oh. Chicken kitchen was a... It was our temple. Well, you used to be able to. Order pancakes in the drive through Yeah. Right? No. Well, one time I said I want to order some pancakes. They're like, can't order pancakes in the drive-thru. I said, well, nobody else is in line. They're like, "Mm -mm, you can't. So I get off the phone and I call back. Oh, no, I wasn't on the phone. I was talking through the, you know, thing outside, which they had a baby monitor duct taped to the glass, you know. Yes, they did. (laughs) And I called and said, ring, ring, ring. This is, um, I'd like to order some pancakes. And she said... Are you in the drive through <laughs> I was like, yes. You can't order pancakes in the drive through <laughs> So then I said, Burn your thing. so I had to start driving around the parking lot to order the darn pancakes. <laughs> well, who knows what they did to the pancakes, but they weren't oh, well, yeah, They don't... were the children. Oh, okay. I was going to say, never be ugly to people that fix your food. Don't ever do that because I used to work in the restaurant business. What did you do to people's food? I never did anything. But I there tell you are what, some people that might. I tell you what I used to do to people. When I was a hostess at the Ice House down in Moorhead City, you got Big Tanda and Pirate Granny. And these <laughs> annoying people would be like, I want some coffee. Um, decaf. And I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> here you go. This is decaf. Good luck tonight. <laughs> well... Yeah, and there are some people that I have had that, oh, yeah. um... So, what, wait, how do I know when the thing is done? When what thing is done? My, Which one? My marshmallow. Well, how do you like your marshmallow? I like it to melt the chocolate. Oh, I don't know it's going to melt the chocolate. It'll... Isn't that the point of my s'more? Look, she even got real Hershey bars. <laughs> So you're just going to get really literally little bitty. No, I just want to judge me. Uh, I am judging you. <laughs> now, Adrian has her phone over top of the chat for Facebook <laughs> and YouTube over she there. She can't see nothing. I can't see you. I'm so sorry. But uh, thank you all for coming in. I do see we have some people. Ah! 
Okay, here's mine. We have Facebook. Let's see, 53 and 16. 53 on... Ah! It's oh. on... <laughs> hey, it's still on fire. We'll make it go out. You just don't have enough... You got to have some air in there, woman. What kind of... This is like the biggest marshmallow <laughs> I've ever know, seen. Right? It's like bigger than my head. That's why I said... Life. When you said a teensy... Here, you're going to burn yourself, but then on top. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. <laughs> My people are really against me eating and being on a video. Oh. How do y'all feel about s'mores? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, talking with our mouths full is kind of weird and stuff. Um, oh, Adrian and I are going to be going on a cruise, which mm. is just amazing. It's in two weeks. Two weeks from Monday. I and have you changed your airline ticket? No. <clears throat> We um, weren't able to do that, but we're going to call. I need the um, travel agent's text or phone number and or email address before you leave today. Because mm -hmm. Miriam did find another flight that we might be able to do. She's going to lose all our Delta points. But well, anyway. You can be able to use the points, get a refund on the other ticket. Uh, no, it won't travel that way. It won't change that way. But it's okay. She, she'll, she'll fly somewhere on Delta sometime. And so what we're doing, we're going to blow. Somebody said, how do you put it out? Well, this is how you put it out. That's all there is. Do it. <laughs> you just blow the fire out. Well, that one Gently. Hard. Gently. I mean, you know, anybody could do anything with bad things and I, I think I've been kind of um, told will not crack you can cook in clay yeah that's that's right you can cook in clay pots and things thank you Black's Tropical she's taken up for me uh, clay pots you know if you do some crazy things or they already have a crack in them it's just like cooking in anything else what um, if you held a pan with some chicken noodle soup could would it cook absolutely that's good to know mm-hmm so you can warm up your food. Now, I have some Crisco candles that I use for that. What are those? I made candles out of uh, Crisco. Go get one of those. Uh, well, I can, but I wanted to show you how to make it on another time. Oh, that's not today. That's not today. Mm -mm. We have to wait because I wanted Adrian to come out again and we'll make some Crisco candles. I'm going to teach this girl how to look after herself. I'm just coming here. <laughs> Oh, no, that's what a lot of people say, so you might have to get in line. New subscriber. Oh, that's exciting. Yay. So I have subscribers, and on Mondays, the subscribers and I do a video with Ann. Yes. Which is fun. Ann is over at Ann Dale Homestead. Yes. Also on Instagram. And you'll know her because she has the 440 followers. <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> How long have you had an it's Instagram been, page? Well, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it for a long time, but I haven't posted on it until a few weeks ago. So I just was this heater video that um, people had an opinion about that really um, helped me along. And actually, I'm kind of thrilled about it because... Oh, you we know, know you are. I did it by myself, so that was a good she thing. She tricked me. She goes, I have a question for you. I said, what is it? <laughs> well, I did this video and got 28,000 followers. I was like, that is not a question. <laughs> You're evil. An no, evil, I'm evil not. auntie. No, no. People are going to get you. My people on YouTube love me. And well, Facebook, I'm just a smart me. ass. Don't y'all don't get your panties in a wad. <laughs> just kidding. Be nice now. You have to be nice. Well, like I was kind of laughing at people that had like golden retrievers and backpacks on yeah. the back, and they were like, "They're service dogs. What if they don't have legs?" I was like, "How oh. many dogs without legs are riding around <laughs> on people's backs?" I mean, y'all are dramatic. <laughs> you have a little people white are, mustache there. Babe. People are so sensitive. Well, they are sensitive. And we want to discourage that, Anne. Oh, we do? Yeah. Well, I mean, I you appreciate want people other to be people's ready opinion. For, yeah. But you want to be ready for the future. But we also have to teach people, like, water off a duck's back. Absolutely. You don't have to get, and we don't want to train, raise children 
to be so sensitive to the world around them. Right. That's right. That's true. We you know, do like, we do want to say, okay, um, I, I, ta- I talk about it as in that's not my hot potato. Mm. Okay? Because it only hurts me if I get angry or upset at someone else, especially on social media, y'all. Because all you have to do is this. You just move your finger to, you know, go to the next page. <laughs> and I might would move another finger, but not him. <laughs> no, no, no. There's another you finger just that have works to really move or, good. Or, or go like that. Just go like that. Push a button. Well, when you're on social media, too, I'm sure you're realizing this, and you're doing a good job with it, is you have to have thick skin. You do. I never thought anybody would ever be mean to me. <laughs> right? I mean, I can see that they'd be mean to me, but her? <laughs> But your comments, they weren't really too mean. No, they were not. They were more uh, funny mean. They were funny mean. I mean, I have... I, like, Pyro Granny is pretty clever. It is It is hilarious, yes. And Granny making a dirty bomb, that mm-hmm. was hilarious. But, um, yeah, I just... I, I do appreciate the other people that took up for me. That was very nice that they did that. I don't want them to feel like they have to, though. When people say, he's so beautiful, I don't know if they're com- complimenting hubby or the service dog. So I ask if they're hitting on hubby because he's married. <laughs> I would assume they're talking about the dog. <laughs> he's so beautiful. Yeah, probably. Do people that. call your husband beautiful? No, but he is. But no. <laughs> no, I mean he is. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> That's not lies. He's beautiful to me. Where is he? Where is he? Hi. He left. He said, I'm getting out of Dodge. This crazy woman is coming to my house. I How do you subscribe leaving. to Ann's page? So she's on Facebook, Instagram, and then she has a YouTube channel, which I do not have. Yes. So they can subscribe to you over on YouTube. Yes, please. Um, you just hit the subscribe button on YouTube. It's, it doesn't cost you anything. On Facebook, you just hit the like or the follow and on Instagram, you hit the following page. So the best thing you could do for me is let's get her 50,000 followers on Facebook so that I actually get some credit. Oh, man, that would be awesome. Auntie. Yes. Auntie Pyro. That would be fabulous. Yes, please. Go to Facebook. I'm stuck there for some reason. I'm stuck at the same well, number. That, I mean, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> You're over there eating people alive on Instagram. I mean, I you guess, just can't I have your cake know. and eat it too. No, but... I only won the uh, lottery one time. I don't know why I didn't win it again. <laughs> hey, look. I, you know, you said you had a friend that had a video that went viral and got 45,000 followers out of it. I did? You said that? I think it was you. There was a lady. No, there is a friend of mine that got 75,000 followers. From one video? Yes. These people ain't talking about autism or having too many children. They just do things like heat up bricks. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm, but what we're doing. I'm totally switching up what I'm doing. No. No more. No, we need both of us. Just we drinking need... alcohol. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the comments of, I can't pour alcohol on that can because I want to drink it. <laughs> if you drink that, you're going to be mighty sick. I mean, that's that's sick. Yeah, I wouldn't drink this. No, and look, y'all, for this heater, just in case. Ann Dale Homestead is her name. Uh-huh. Yes, please, Ann Dale Homestead. 70% or higher. You have to have or higher. higher. Because 90% is better. It lasts longer. It burns cleaner. But, you know, we didn't fall over dead, and we were right here on top of it. No, I do feel a little woozy. (laughs) That's from the s'mores. (laughs) How does Anne get sparkly strands in her hair? We should do a video on that. Well, yeah. We can't switch our glasses. We wouldn't be able to see. No. I'm blind. I can't. Mm, Can you see? Mm Mm-mm. Yeah, let me try yours. Hold on. Okay. Are these even real glasses? They're reading glasses. Oh, my Lord, you are blind. I mean, what? How do you read anything with these things? You have to put it down on your nose. (laughs) <laughs> we can't do it. No. no, I mean, these are not just for looks. <laughs> but they are cute. They're really Thanks. cute. You have a bunch of glasses. That My dad really is an cute. optometrist. Okay. Well, that would so help. I had an N. Mm-hmm. You do have an N. That would help mm-hmm. a lot. And Amos, my littlest, who's nine, has three or four pairs of glasses. Glasses growing up, I mean, granted, you got a good deal. 
But glasses always were kind of, they're like a little fashiony. Yeah, they are. You know, yeah, they and are so people think I'm going to have one pair of glasses. Well, like you're going to have more than one pair of shoes. Right. Yes. And you yes, wear them yes. for years. It's not like they wear out. And or, you're scared to pieces that you're going to break that one pair. Well, when you buy them at Eye Care of Edenton, within a year, they're totally covered. You get you can get a pair of new lenses. Okay. They will. I took my glasses in yesterday. I'd had three years, and they'll fix them for me for free. Fantastic. This is why you do not want to buy glasses from the Walmart.com. Okay. But if you go to a nice, where we are, Eye Care of Edenton, they... You, you're buying nice glasses, but they are customer friendly. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, that's nice. That is nice. That's fair. All right, y'all. It is 9.02, and she has a visitor coming to her house <laughs> at 9.15. Nurse Gina. Nurse Gina's coming. Subscribers, tune in for Nurse Gina. Yeah. Nurse Gina and I are going to be looking at, see how many times Kevin McCarthy has lost. Oh. <laughs> okay. It was up to 11. Yes, she's up on current events and is a little controversial, which is wonderful so that it does make you think, and sometimes you might yell at the screen at her, but sometimes you're going, oh, that's exactly right. I like that. I'm not controversial. <laughs> <laughs> you say what you think, and I love that. Well, I mean, this is why I don't have 40,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> yes, you do. You have more than I, I can't, do still. I can't help it. I just feel like we have to discuss things yes and she does discuss hard subjects and that is fantastic i mean well if everybody talked a little bit more if they told how much they weighed who they voted for the world is a better place if we can openly discuss things true but i mean we're all afraid to say i just weighed myself i'm so disappointed (laughs) (laughs) i don't really want to say oh come on say it I weighed mean. 148 pounds. That's a lot. I you, I should weigh about 125. So I'm 25 pounds overweight. 25 pounds overweight. Okay, wait. You're disappointed because you weigh 148 pounds? Yes. I mean, my I, look at my little bones. I have little bitty bones. I'm, I'm, a, little, no. I'm a little framed woman. And I shouldn't have. I, shouldn't I like weigh feel like I'm the thinnest person on the planet, and I weigh 153. Oh well, you are. But thin, I was but 186. Look, yeah, I mean, it's but all look relative. At what you did. I mean, oh my gosh, <laughs> it is did. all relative. Now, well, are you going to wear a bikini on our cruise? <laughs> no. <laughs> I might get a thong. Oh, that would be. Hilarious. You should get one. No way. No, I'm not as bold as you are. I'm not going to, I'm not, uh -uh. I hadn't even seen my fanny in years. I have tankinis. Tankinis. Mm -hmm. So you like the double bathing suit? Yes. I like a one piece. Oh, well, see, I got to wear shorts with a one piece. So. Because why? Because I don't feel comfortable not just wearing what feels like panties. Well, so Ann and I, we're going to be doing some videos on the cruise boat. Yeah. Lots of subscriber activities. One thing we are going to do, it's going to be fun, we're going to climb the rock wall. Oh, we are? Hmm. Did I tell you I have a metal knee? <laughs> <laughs> I have had a knee replacement, so. It really looks fine. <laughs> it does. I mean. She's not going to get on the boat because she's going to set off the metal detector and she's going to have all these bricks in her bag. They'll be like, it's a terror. Ah, that's the truth. You know, I can't bring any of my stuff. Any well, you of can my- bring some. I, I don't know what stuff to bring to show people how Auntie to be Richard a homesteader. Reed, are you doing videos during the cruise? Yes, we're going to be yeah. doing videos during the cruise. We're also going to be we doing will. live. We're going to have a live talk show on Royal Caribbean. Oh, really? Well, I haven't told Royal Caribbean yet. But this oh. <laughs> <laughs> she would walk up to the president and say, Hello, welcome to Tales of an Educated Debbie Talk. She wouldn't have a problem with that. That it's would be true. great. Yeah, yeah and, and I do need, I couldn't buy the internet package on Why? the cruise. Because it, would, it wouldn't let me do it pre, pre-do it. Oh, you have to do it when you get there? Yeah. Well, I think that'll be fine. Well, I heard that it's 10 to $18 a day. Oh, I'm sure it is. It's like 100 bucks. It's $80 a day for alcohol. Oh, well, I'm not spending $80 a day for that. But anyway, <clears throat> we'll be fine. We'll all be fine. It'll be great. It, you guys We can walk around worth. the bar, and when people get in the pool, we can take their drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. 
She as long would as you do. don't worry about getting COVID. <laughs> well, I'll be COVID tested before we get on there. Deb probably. says it's that 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 metal knee that is your extra pounds. Oh, okay. She likes that. I will claim that one. I will claim it. That sounds so good. So I'm doing something tomorrow you might enjoy. Okay. So tomorrow, Nurse Gina and her daughter Leanne just got a brand new fancy metal detector. Oh, cool. And we're going to meet out at Mulberry Hill and do some Oh, you are? Excavating. Oh, my gosh. Do you have permission? No. It's my in-laws. I'm going to ask them. Okay. Well, anything you find, you might have to turn over to a historian. Well, this is my family. I know. I know. And I think they're out of town. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Carry mm -hmm. on, people. Thank you for All having right. me. Oh, thank you for being here, Adrian. Pyra Granny, go follow Ann Dale on Facebook. I need some credit. <laughs> Ann Dale Homestead. Yes, Where please. are you going on your cruise? We're going to the Bahamas. Bahama. Bahama Mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys. Goodbye. Thank you. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here, y'all. Thank you. I'm glad she didn't burn me up. <laughs>